Welcome to this video on um, the uh, noteness of notes or rhythm, tempo, uh, time, notes, etc. Um, notes get their value from a combination, as you can see on the screen here, of beats per minute, the type of note uh, that the beats per minute are based on, and then the divisions of that note into uh, fractions of itself. Um, so the, the notes have a kind of a floating exchange rate. Um, on this example on the screen here, uh, one quarter note equals 60 beats per minute. Um, and how that gets divided is um, in each measure there are four quarter notes. So the type of notes on the bottom of the time signature here, uh, so that's which kind. The top note is how many, so there's four here, four quarter notes at 60 beats per minute which means that each beat lasts for one second and each bar lasts for four seconds. One, two, three, four. So, if we put the metronome on, metronome, uh, this is excellent by the bounce metronome, it, it's free for the taster version which I have here and then there's a professional version which you can do all sorts of 3D animations with different um, uh, different things going on, take a look at the website and you'll see all of that. Um, it's a wonderful tool um, but if I just set the this metronome here to 60 beats per minute uh, there we are. now working with a metronome where, where you haven't got it sort of graphically for you um, you get this to work with Now, actually, when you're just uh, using the click as a beat, um, that's fairly self-explanatory. It gets more difficult to envisage what to do with the click. Um, if you want to then divide your bar down, um, still in 4-4 time, but actually strumming your eighth notes, um, which on the screen looks like this. Here you can see beat quarter notes and eighth notes, which gives us uh, one and two and three and four and. As you can see, that divides the uh, bar up into eight divisions. They're eighth notes, um, but you still have one, two, three, four. So on the bounce metronome, if we just uh, take that first. and 
juice is strumming that. Now, just by way of contrast, one, two, three, four. You've got your pulse there, one, two, three, four, but you have to put your hands in. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and um, and you have to sort of get that evenness yourself by practicing. Um, I actually find it much easier to practice with the bounce metronome than with the regular metronome. Let's do it again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. So I've got out of sync with it there already. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. try it with a guitar. sound faster um, but the beats per minute or the metronome mark denotes the pulse uh, which is the accented beat um, and so on there you'll notice I was accenting the one or on occasion I was accenting the one and also the three um, so that's that's strumming straight quarter notes in 4-4 four four time at 60 beats per minute. So we can change that um, tempo, see how it sounds. Um, let's take it at 90. 
that's 90. I'll put this on 90 as well. with the quarter notes. notes um, there are you can see on the bottom here one two three four sixteenth notes in a quarter note um, and so uh, to count the sixteenth notes it's one e and a uh, two so that's four subdivisions of the quarter note 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Um, so if you do that for a whole bar, it's 1, it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So uh, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. That's a 16th note strum. So, uh, your 16th notes are actually going at 360 beats per minute, which is, which is, has that not changed? At 90 it would have been 360, uh, 490s at 360. 60 beats per minute is 240, which is still very quick. Um, so let's. Uh, 
practicing slowly and working up, I mean, you might, to get those eighth notes, want to just take the beats per minute right down to 30 beats, like so. accented beat which is the quarter note in this case and you can divide that quarter note up however you please um, and if you divide it into uh, bigger notes i.e. half notes or um, whole notes uh, it will be slower and if you divide it into smaller notes you can fit more of them in and therefore it will feel faster um, on this video I'm not going to do uh, the other way of dividing them, which is uh, triple eighth notes, uh, which are counted um, one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, where you have uh, three eighth notes uh, squeezed into the space of a quarter note. And that gives a triplet feel. Um, just moving then on to just re emphasizing this point of how big the notes are, um, you can um, change the, um, the note that gets the beat. The best way to do that is to not get 6 8 times. And you'll see that in 6-8 time, the note that gets the, the beat is an 8th note. And this, this note here in the metronome mark has changed to an 8th note um, in straight. Uh, so, in 6-8 time, you have dotted quarter notes and 8th notes. In this strum pattern, um, a dotted quarter note is a quarter note plus half as much again. That's an eighth. So, um, uh, so that makes the three eighth notes. Um, dotted quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. That's that division, uh, which starts getting into more complicated theory about um, how in six and eight, six eight notes you get these dotted um, eighth notes um, cropping up uh, which really we don't want to get into that too much um, uh, six eight is counted here one and a two and a one and a two And that's counting the six eighth notes one and two. So, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, 
six, one. So you can see that's an eighth note, an eighth note. So six eighth notes. So eighth notes are what we're dealing with. There are six in a bar, and in this example, uh, that would be at 30 beats per minute. Um, let's just put it up to um, 60 beats per minute um, and have a listen to how it sounds. Essentially, you know, the obvious question is what's the difference between that and three, four time? Um, well, the answer for that is um, very little in effect, but it's a question of feel. Um, signatures tend to be associated with, with different um, different types of music. 3-4 is known as waltz time, so that's 1-2-3, 1-2-3, it's a bit more swayy, whereas 6-8 is a bit more sort of kind of laid back and, and jazzy, I, I guess you'd say. And uh, I think that's it for the bounce metronome um, for this, yes. Uh, people usually say the quarter note gets the beat. Now, for me, that never actually meant anything. Um, the bumper sticker of what we're doing here is actually, uh, if you think about this, how many of which kind at what tempo or speed. When you have those three bits of information, you can understand then uh, any time signature. Um, so in 4-4, four four, which we have here, uh, the top number uh, tells you how many um, you have of each kind. Uh, the bottom one is which kind, so that's quarter notes. So you've got four quarter notes in each bar. Well, that still doesn't tell you how big they are um, or what that means. So you have to look at the metronome mark or the directions for playing, uh, which here we've got a quarter note equals 60 beats per minute. Um, so now this bit of the screen down here actually shows us what that means. Um, 60 quarter note beats every minute. So um, 60 quarter notes each minute. Um, there, are, there are four quarter notes each bar, uh, which means that each uh, quarter note will last for one second. Uh, which means that each bar is four seconds long uh, and therefore in each minute each minute uh, you will actually have 15 bars um, by, by this 
estimation. So, and then those four, those four quarter notes add up to a whole note. So that's how many? That's uh, four. There are four beats of which kind? Quarter notes, and uh, there there are sixty quarter note beats per minute. So um, in four four time, that will sound like this: two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Strumming that will be three, four. So that's um, that's the that's the basic skinny on this. <laughs>